Well, the way that the fade is made is a large gather of each of these colors is made and it's dropped when it's totally molten right on top of the previous color. So doing this without the compressed air tends to give a little bit of an effect that you might see right here. I did switch to no compressed air while making this sample to see what would happen and it definitely left a little bit of fizz. The compressed air makes almost all of these colors that are very temperamental work much more smoothly and not have any color defects when you're really abusing the colors pretty heavily. All right, so I'm getting the first gather of the color fade or blowout prepped. Each segment of the blowout is going to have clear over it. So essentially the color is gathered in a very compressed air rich flame environment and then I drop it on some clear and then I'm going to drop this whole puck onto a prepped tube. The benefit of having the clear behind it is that the color, once it's on the tube, is going to have a whole lot less distortion. Still, there's a huge part of the time where the color is actually fully exposed to the flame and the compressed air setting is essential. Compressed air on on both center and outside. The thinner the layer of clear gets, the more I want that compressed air on. Even though it is protecting the color, it can definitely still get deteriorated or bubbly. So being able to kick the compressed air on right away is super important. All right, there's one layer of color, super clean. I'm just uh, making a quick clear gather that the uh, color is going to get set onto. It's nice to have the clear gather prepped ahead of time. So the compressed air is still on on the center fire. I'm going to use both the inside and outside fire for this step. Compressed air on. Obviously if I was trying to do that all by hand, I'd pretty much have to let both pieces of glass cool down in order to turn the outer fire compressed air on. Both halves are just about fully molten. I'm going to go ahead and drop the color onto the clear and then primarily heat the clear so that the color sinks into it. Let it all set up for just a second before separating the rod. Okay, this gather is ready. I'm going to grab my prep and then I put this color right over top of the lemon drop. The compressed air is on on both stages of the torch. Blowing it out nice and steady. I get a good even heat over everything and I let it cool down for a second. And most of the blowing is done just outside the plane. Let that thinner wall set up. I want to heat more than just the, the thick mass at the end of the gather. I want to heat the whole gather. I'm going to let it even out a little bit. Blow it out for its final step. We can see there's a narrow section of color that's unencased. It didn't look distorted or didn't bubble at all. The section is covered with clear. It's absolutely perfect. Again, the lemon drop, pretty much transparent and haze or reduction free. For the last layer, I'm actually going to just put unencased. Uh, Illuminati. Anyone that's used Illuminati when you gather it heavily or blow into it definitely has a tendency to bubble. I'm going to use just plain Illuminati, no clear backing on it. Uh, so there's no smoke and mirrors here. Without that clear backing with a normal flame setting, it would be really tough to keep the Illuminati perfect. It's going to come out nice and clean with this step. So we have lemon drop, tangelo, and then we're going to drop the Illuminati on there and blow into it. We'll have the third section of our color fade. I have the compressed air on on both the inside and outside fire. This unencased Illuminati is certainly going to be held in the back flame right up until I drop it on the tube. Now to make this color fade look just right, I want to get the Illuminati all the way molten. Still the tube should be relatively cool. And I want it to fall back onto itself a bit. 
Each time I come out of the flame, I let it set up or cool down for a second, and then I blow steadily and, and light. I use more pressure as the glass cools down. Now we have a nice even three section color fade. Again, it goes from lemon drop to chan tangelo, the Illuminati. They held up very well through the whole gathering process. The colors stayed super rich and super clear um, due to the compressed air. I'll say it came out pretty good.